It's hard to deny that Oxygen OS 13 and Color OS 13 share more than a few similarities, as they're effectively the same OS masquerading as different versions. Toss in Realme UI 4.0, and it's an inconvenient truth that BBK is appearing unwillingly to own up to, and none of this is more apparent here in Android 13. Here's the two side by side, and a forewarning, it ain't pretty. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Given that Pete Lau claimed Oxygen OS and Color OS's unified platform was set to be walked back or even separated even more so, it's all the more frustrating as we once lauded the former as the best Android experience. It's amazing to see how much times have changed with the industry's major disruptor. And some might say this has been inevitable. And as we mentioned, none of this is more apparent when using Color OS 13 and Oxygen OS 13 side by side. Of course, sharing components and hardware production pipelines is one thing, but for, for many, the crux of why they were still continuing to persevere with OnePlus was Oxygen OS. Just what's in store? Well, here's everything you need to know, the good and the bad. Last year, we saw the first steps of the merger between Color OS and Oxygen OS with that Android 12 update, which many of you commented on, as you can see on screen now, right now, in droves last year. OnePlus fans are some of the most passionate on Android, and it's all understandable. Sadly though, the merger, or at least copying style, is even more pronounced this time around, to the point that it's actively hard to tell the two skins apart. So let's head over to the desk, and we'll get right into just how closely these are aligned. So right away, there are big changes to the pull-down notification center in Oxygen OS and Color OS 13. It's eerily reminiscent of the Android 11 Developer 1 preview, whereby media controls were tested or tucked inside that quick settings panel, alongside all of those common toggles that you'll access on a day-by-day -day basis. You can certainly see as well some iOS influences, but the addition of the Android 12 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth pill style toggles are also another important alteration. And it is hard to argue that this does limit or, or limit utility at the expense of some identity. With many Chinese OEMs doing similar things, it's a tad disappointing to see the simple quick settings panel and notification center removed in favor of this iOS light combination. A number of changes have been made to the settings menu and a number of associated submenus, so that Oxygen OS 13 is even more like Color OS 13. You can see this instantly from the injection of color to the settings sectional icons if you don't choose the wallpaper based theming. There are other changes such as to the about phone screen, which is now identical on both devices, including the share button to send or post your device specifications to apps and other services as a screenshot. If you're also in any doubt about whether the changes are fully merged across, even the system UI icon within the processes and battery section now has the same Color OS theme on Oxygen OS and Color OS, which as we all know is based upon Oppo's system icon design. You may remember that for years we all hoped that OnePlus would add always on display support and it was finally introduced back with Oxygen OS 11 and the Android 11 update. Since then the feature has evolved and to be fair to OnePlus the implementation has been overall pretty darn solid. A case in point though is the brand new Spotify widget for the always on display. This is pushed almost like a banner ad within the shelf section, more on that in just a moment, which some might find a little bit intrusive. However, if you do use the music streaming service, you can enable a new widget that will appear when the always on display function is active. It's an integration, but it is artificially limited. We'd love to see it come to more streaming and media services, or just have a generic option available, a bit like the media resumption controls already built into Android. And because so much of the software is now bleeding here into color OS, the one-time exclusive Canvas AOD functions are now available on Oppo phones across the board. Even the exclusive Parsons School of Design Insight feature with that, which shows you how many times you've unlocked your phone and has a large indicator or a line indicator to show that, is part and parcel of Color OS here on the Find X5 Pro. Many of the widgets and customization options are also set to be made available to Oppo as well as OnePlus owners who have used this for some time already. A number of changes have already been made to the home screen, including just how things look and operate, but again, everything is visible across both versions here of Color OS 13 and Oxygen OS 13. One of the most notable alterations that feels like it's been lifted right out of Nothing OS, though, is the ability to enlarge any home screen folders for easier access. Color OS 13's aquamorphic icon style is also available on Oxygen OS here too, which is another indication 
of emerging visual identities, Google's themed icons have made the jump over to both versions of the software for the very first time. System apps and any supported Google apps just when this is active will adhere to your preset system wallpaper colors. And this relies greatly upon the support for dynamic color with wallpaper based theming available more extensively via the wallpaper or dedicated wallpaper and style app, which you'll find in this settings section. This just works in a similar manner to the color palette feature that you can use in One UI. So you can just select some preset basic color swatches, which, which will show previews of just how certain menus and app controls will look on your phone. It's nothing new. It's just tuned here again in Android 13. And even the new wallpaper selection in Oxygen OS 13 and Color OS 13 have some eerie similarities. The stock selection feels like a copycat without the effort being made to truly try and hide it. Global device search is also in the works here for the app drawer in both versions of Android 13 across OnePlus and Oppo devices. This looks like it's gonna work in a similar manner to how Pixel devices offer the search functions when swiping up from your home screen. It's not fully functional or it doesn't appear to be at this stage, but this is actually a good move regardless of which side of the fence you happen to sit on. The OnePlus shelf function has now fully jumped over to ColorOS for the first time here in Android 13. And this is one of the few features alongside the Zen mode and work-life balance that has actually survived the UI overhaul and not been completely removed. You can still swipe down by activating at the home screen, but it's here in ColorOS, as we mentioned, for the first time too, and it looks identical. There is no ability to add any toggles here or even add on-device storage data information with a limited selection of widgets, including a step tracker, weather data, note-taking or quick note-taking. There's a clock for alarms and such like photos. And there is that almost feeling like an ad Spotify control tab. Sadly, it looks like the ability to choose a right corner swipe gesture to access this quick panel has been fully removed from Oxygen OS, and you can only toggle this on both phones or both versions of Android 13 with a swipe down on your home screen in Color OS 13 and Android 13 on Oxygen OS devices too. It's definitely worth noting that OnePlus and Oppo are among the best on Android when it comes to haptic feedback. The O haptic feature has been available for a little while on Oxygen OS with Oxygen OS 12.1 and Color OS 12.1 back when the Find X5 Pro launched. With Android 13 though, it's likely coming to even more OnePlus and Oppo phones. Basically, this lets you tune the haptic intensity or how, how vibrations feel when it is active. That said, it's a strange consideration using the O branding to, across both devices, but maybe this will change over time. For years, OnePlus and Oppo have remained adamant that warp charge and SuperVoot charging utilize different technology despite evidence of the contrary. Now, even the charging animation is identical across Oxygen OS and Color OS. It's pretty nice, in all honesty, but the SuperVoot branding is now even less prominent after bleeding here into OnePlus devices over the past 18 months. We've got to note that there is a lot of things that have been removed here as well in Oxygen OS primarily. And you could very easily argue that what the OnePlus identity is slowly being airbrushed or erased out of existence. And there are a few key areas where that is evident here in the Android 13 beta. Of course, changes could simply be due to the fact that Color OS and Oxygen OS 13 are still in this early preview phase, but we're not quite as convinced given the bulk of changes over the past couple of years. Even so, these are a few key areas that you'll notice the watering down of the Oxygen OS branding. For starters, the useful shelf feature that we mentioned just shortly ago has evolved over time to include many new tweaks and functions. But you'll spot right away that the iconic never settle tagline and branding has just been wiped from the pull down section. Color OS 13 has added the shelf feature and to add yet more confusion to that, it looks like it will function in the exact same way here too. Another removal in the Oxygen OS 13 beta is the popular calculator Easter egg. For those of you out there that are unaware what I'm talking about, what you can do is you can launch the stock OnePlus calculator app on OnePlus devices and enter OnePlus, then tap equals, and this will reveal an animated Never Settle logo in the output box. Attempting to do this in the latest version of Oxygen OS or the Android 13 beta of it, does absolutely nothing. Another area where this is also prominent is in the settings menu, there's now no more room for the traditional Oxygen OS logo that has been used for a number of years. You usually find this by heading to settings, about phone, and then software version. And while Oppo's Color OS logo is emblazoned within the same page on the Find X5 Pro, it's curiously missing on the OnePlus 10 Pro. 
This could be a simple oversight within the Android 13 preview, but given that the animated Oxygen OS logo does remain in place, a Bond device startup means that we're hoping this will return here too. That said, it's still quite confusing that there is a lot of Oxygen OS's prior work is slowly being eradicated across the board. That's just a few of the most notable changes here in Oxygen OS 13 and Color OS 13, but really we just think that Oppo and OnePlus need to stop this charade of trying to claim that these are two different software builds. While there may be, while there may be some under the hood differences, at least functionality wise, the two are now identical. Some of the identity of OnePlus has been sacrificed and for hardened fans, the lack of transparency is not only frustrating, but it's also quite insulting. It's exacerbated as Oxygen OS and 13 and Color OS 13 are in fact absolutely fine. Color OS has come a long way in recent years. It was once quite poor and now it's very good in its own right. Oppo's third party Android skin can stand on its own with a number of impressive features, well organized sections and genuinely useful features. A bigger problem for Oxygen OS is that the OnePlus devices of old could almost be sold off the back of light, clean versions of Android that offered a genuine alternative to the Google Pixel series. Things have seriously deteriorated over the past few years and any individuality has been practically ripped from the brand. Fans out there will be disappointed and we're saddened by this too. It almost makes it hard to recommend that you go out and buy a OnePlus phone because from Android 13 onwards, you're buying an Oppo phone in all but name. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what to expect from Oxygen OS 13, aka Color OS 13, but I really do want to hear your thoughts and I can understand why you might feel let down or disappointed by OnePlus specifically. It's quite frustrating to see such a vast change in direction from the brand. Throw a comment down, down below though and let me know uh, what you think because we did have a great response to our Oxygen OS 12 review last year with people really concerned about all of the changes that have come forward. With all of that said though, this is Damien with 95 Google. I did hope you enjoyed this video either way. Thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.